Hello everybody, my name is Pyro, and in this video we're going to be doing Engineer MVM Guide. To start off this video... <laughs> I hope you guys liked that bit, that was something for sure. I hate whenever that happens, whenever I record a video and I accidentally queue for a match at the same time. However, we're going to start with the guys. So, as far as primaries, your best bet is the Rescue Ranger. And I know some people might be telling me, like, what about the Frontier Justice? Because you get the crits. Your best bet is the Frontier Justice, just because it's such a good utility weapon in MVM. Uh, at one point in time, actually, the Pompson was the go to weapon. I think this was before the Rescue Ranger was a weapon, but that was a long time ago. Your secondary. Uh, your two options really are the mostly the Wrangler and the Short Circuit. Um, you're, be you're better off with the Wrangler just because you get to control your sentry. And then it also shoots faster too. So yeah, that's a big plus. As for your melee, you obviously do not want to use the Gunslinger. That's just obvious. You should never use the Gunslinger MVM if you're trying to play seriously. Um, some people, you could use the ho Southern Hospitality. It's basically stock. Stock is what I use always. Uh, the Eureka effect. The only thing about this, I mean, it's good for the respawn, but the one thing that really sucks about it is obviously the construction hit speed, and then like if you want to like get a ton of metal from your dispenser, you really can't from this. And then um, at one point before they nerfed the Jag, this was the only weapon that people use in MVM, but like y it has a slower re repair rate, and then um, and that's pretty much the only thing bad about it is the repair rate. I mean, everything else is pretty good about it. The, there's a boost and then, the, and then there's obviously a faster firing speed but uh, yeah I mean you, you honestly it's kinda up to you I recommend just using stock but yeah as for PDA there's no PDA now for the first wave it is your priority to max out your dispenser range and on all maps I checked it gives you more than enough credits to give you the max dispenser range now with the remaining credits for the first wave make sure you either upgrade your building health or your hit speed on your wrench. Now a lot of people are going to be asking me what about the firing speed? So as of the recording of this video, and actually as of for a long time, the upgrade on firing speed on any class, especially heavy and engineer, have been broken. So um, so the, the main rule of thumb with this is the first upgrade works, and the second upgrade does nothing if you're not using the Wrangler. If you're going to use the Wrangler a lot, or if you have it, then get the second point for your firing speed but if you're not using Wrangler then only get the first points. As engineer you're gonna have to face a lot of robots and a lot of times you have to face one of your biggest rivals which is the sentry buster. For a lot of players this is very easy to deal with but uh, if it's your first time playing engineer make sure that you pick up your sentry only and make sure you travel far enough from your other teammates where you could offset the sentry buster while not killing yourself and not killing other teammates and if you have a microphone just let your teammates now watch out sentry buster so they don't actually back into you and your sentry buster um, another tip that's very very useful is uh, you notice how I use wrangler a lot in this clip make sure that once once you're done wrangling your sentry you pick up your sentry and you place it down immediately because that negates the three second uh, time where your sentry gun cannot fire. A lot of people surprisingly don't know this and it's surprisingly very useful and the reason why you want to do this is because one your sentry could start firing right away and two you could actually upgrade your sentry fully because if you don't know when your sentry is down like this you can't fully repair it. It's like a marginal percentage of what you can repair. As for the falling waves with your credits you want to make sure that you max out your wrenches hit speed you also max out the health on your sentry gun as well as getting resistance and only getting one or two points like I said before on the firing speed on your sentry uh, you can also get two way telly uh, it is pretty useful some people always get it it really depends on what your team is in, in demand for sometimes I buy it and no one ever uses it sometimes people are, are always in demand of the two way telly so it's really, it's really up to your team and what they demand um, as far as your primary, you can upgrade the uh, Rescue Ranger. Only really get the, the, the clip size upgrade and the reload speed. 
I mean, you can also get the firing speed, it's a pretty cheap upgrade, but only get that last. Also, getting this, the building repair instantly, or the whatever the canteen is called, or instant canteen, you know what I'm talking about, right? It's the instant repair canteen. For 50 credits, is extremely useful. If you if you lose your setup, you instantly build everything back up to level 3. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a like. If you guys have any criticism, leave it below. And thanks for watching, guys, and have a wonderful day.